Hello, everyone. All right, so today I am going to show you something that I have been meaning to film for a very long time, just never got around to do it, to doing it. So I'm going to show you the memory decks cards that I had made over the years. Um, I'm probably going to start getting back into doing this. I actually have not made one this year. Um, I did make one, I think, last year, one. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So this is a roller dex that I bought from Goodwill. Gosh, this had to be 2016, 2015, maybe. It was at the height of like when Heidi Swap put out the memory dex um, stuff. Um, so you can see here, I never even took off the uh, price tag. I got this for $2.99 and it came with the, you know, with the original cards, which are all the way in the back here. I never took them out because I kind of like leaving them there uh, in case I, I feel like I, you know, I want to use them um, or just to kind of prop these up. It's getting kind of full, so I probably will take some out. So let me just tilt it so that way, you, you know, you can see it better. Um, in terms of like how many I made at the time. I need to look up when this came out. Um, so she kind of like made it popular, um, Heidi Swap, in terms of like um, this whole trend of like the memory decks. Um, I just remember that when it came out, the original punch, and this is a punch to make um, for you to be able to use this. Let me just take out actually. I didn't, I've completely forgot that I had made these um, blank ones here with uh, my stash of scrapbook paper. So um, that way, you know, it's the, the uh, same size as far as the punch to do like, like these. Here's the original card. So if I lay it right over, you can see that it's exactly the same. So, um, cause I don't know if they ever made a punch for the original roller decks. But anyways, um, she made the punch and when the when the original punch came out, oh my God, it was so hard to get because everybody was going crazy for it. And the original one was like in a mint green, like this color right here. And I tried to get my hands on one. I ordered it. Um, actually, I didn't order it. I remember I bought it on eBay and at a really good price. And I don't know what the seller did. She probably was selling more than what she had in stock. And so, um, yeah, she said she was going to mail it and then I never got it. And then she had to refund me because it turns out she oversold and I was so pissed because I really wanted it in the mint color. But in the end, I ended up getting this, I can't remember one of the scrapbook websites. I think, um, I ended up ordering it when the white one came out. Um, and yeah, Cause it's like, this one sold out fast too. I mean, they were every website that had gotten them in stock sold out so fast. So I was just so happy that I was able to get one because a lot of people would make do by just punching holes, um, you know, to be, and then making their own roll, um, like roller decks. If you couldn't find one of these, cause Heidi Swap did make a roller decks, um, that was also like a mint green, you know, that you could actually, um, rotate you know, the cards, but if you did that, the cards could not be like different sizes like this. They had to be a certain size in order to be able to fully rotate. Um, and I believe those actually sold, um, those sold out the mint green ones. I know sold out really fast, but then in the end, I know like the white ones, they ended up showing up like at TJ Maxx or not TJ Maxx. I'm sorry, Tuesday morning. If you guys remember Tuesday morning back in the day, um, I remember there was one at my store for the longest time, but I never got around to buying it because I just didn't like the idea of them being like uniform in one size. I liked, I wanted to make them bigger. So let's go ahead and get started with the cards that I made. And I'll just start in from the beginning. They're not really in any particular chronological order. Um, I think I just put them in based off of like size. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of these out. And they're very dimensional because I was using a lot of my ephemera. I'm sorry, it's a little dusty <laughs> because this has been sitting in the corner by the window for the longest time. So this first one here is, I did this of my niece. This is my youngest um, niece and um, when she was still a baby. So I, it's just such an adorable picture of her that I, I, I just had to make a card. So I went ahead and kind of like stacked some of the ephemera. 
to give it some dimension, just basically using like um, foam tape from Dollar Tree. You know, I think I put, yeah, I did. I stacked two um, pieces of foam tape. I don't know if you can see that there just to give it, you know, just for this to pop out even more. And then we've got this one. I remember, I think this one was one of the first ones that I made. I'm gonna make sure I'm in focus here. All right. And I think what I did was I used probably, um, I have a lot of like Maggie Holmes, uh, crepe paper, um, like American crafts, um, scrapbook paper at the time. And so, and I was always like getting the ephemera as well. Like if a collection came out, like say like Maggie Holmes garden party, I would make sure to get like the matching ephemera and all that, because I don't, my style, I like matchy matchy when it comes to stuff like this. So that's what I did. And we've got this one here. And this one, it feels like I glued it. Yeah, I did. I glued it to some cardstock because the original, um, scrapbook paper is really flimsy paper. So I wanted to, I'll probably have to, I'll probably have to make a, um, a backing for that because that is really flim flimsy compared to this. This one's holding up pretty well. So we've got that. And then the next couple of ones. So this one is a, a much bigger one. And I do remember this, this one right here is from Tim Holtz. It's one of the few Asian ones that were in that pack of, um, I don't even know what you call them. I just remember like dolls or something like that. But yeah, and I remember I did make this around Valentine's Day. I don't remember where a lot of the ephemera came from. It's probably from various um, American crafts um, collections. So we have this one here. So you can see I know for a fact that this did not come with the um, Maggie Holmes ones, but the colors were still very similar. And did I put this butterfly upside down? No. Okay. I thought I did when I was just looking at it from here. At first I thought, oh my God, I glued that upside down. So it's really pretty dimensional. But this is kind of like at the time, my kind of favorite palette, color palette, so to say. So and we've got this one. Oh boy. Kind of hard. Yeah. This one, see, this is pretty flimsy. This one, I backed it because it is much thicker. And we've got this one. Hmm. I don't know who's ah, Florissa texting me. Um, this was from Amy Tangerine. I remember because she's always got like the rainbow palette. And I think this also might be from her, one of her collections as well. We've got this. So these kites were from Michael's when Michael used to have like a dollar um, bin type of um, deal. And I remember I had bought a bunch of these because I just liked the fact that they were actually dimensional. These were made with actual wood and um, textured paper. So I still have them. I just got to find the rest of what I have and start using them again. And we've got this one here. Not sure what collection it was from. Maybe Paige Evans. Um, I don't know. It's funny. I'm naming some of these um, scrapbook designers and some of them are no longer designing. And I haven't seen any new collections come out, but then again, I haven't really been following them. Um, one I de definitely know is not, de not designing anymore is Dear Lizzie, and I follow her on Instagram. I'm still following her. I don't know why, but I still am. But um, look her up. She's got kind of a crazy ass story. Um, so yeah, we've got this, and then this one right here. Oh, this was one of my favorites. This one, I really stacked the stuff, <laughs> the ephemera. So 
got this right here with the butterflies again. Um, the butterflies, I think that was Bow Bunny. I had a whole bunch of it. A lot of this stuff I purchased from Tuesday morning. So, um, yeah, man, I really miss Tuesday morning. If they were still around, oh God, I'd probably still be shopping there every, you know, every week when they would get their load to get all of the, you know, craft stuff, especially a lot of the ephemera because you could get it so cheap back then. And I know that I had several packs of this, um, from Bow Bunny from there. Probably, I, I probably got a pack for like $2.99 or something like that. I think this was also Bow Bunny. And I can't remember where this is from. Actually, I think the moments is falling. I don't remember. I don't remember putting it in that. Yeah, it did fall because that was loose. There we go. And I just used some crepe paper from um, the Dollar Tree to back that. Okay, so this one here, this particular one right there, the, um, oh gosh, what did they call it back then? I mean, it's like a, it's ephemera, but it's like on a heavier cardstock. I'm trying to remember where this came from. It's on the tip of my tongue in terms of the name of the collection. But I can't remember. It'll probably come to me like several memory decks later. So we have this here. And this is where I started using like, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, pages from a book as a background to give it a little texture. You see a theme here, a lot of butterflies. Cause like I said, I had a ton of them. So you see, here we go again. Um, and then I had these acetate ones and these are pretty thick. They're not like flimsy. And I loved that it was um, like, it's a ticket, you know? And then we've got this one. So I know that I was using my um, die cut machine, which I need to bust out. I need to get all the dies out um, here. And these were from, uh, I want to say these were from Michael's as well. You know, it's funny because back then, yeah, I used to shop at Michael's, but nowadays I never go there because they don't carry a lot of stuff. You know, it's all the um, vinyl, like cry cut and all that stuff. Um, they've really like pared down the scrapbooking, um, you know, stuff that they have. I mean, hard, they hardly carry any Tim Holtz. And that's like one of the main lines that I like to buy. So now it's like, I have to go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's or, you know, worse, just order it online. Cause they don't even carry like the full line of like a lot of these, um, companies. I know this one was also from Michael's. And then I used some um, trim that I think I also got either from Michael's or from Hobby Lobby. Oh, this is getting super dimensional here. So this one, these are flowers, paper flowers that are probably from, um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, the line. What is it called again? Oh, I can't think of it but it's a much more um, expensive line than like the American graph stuff. Ah, this one I know I made 2019 because that's when I went to Japan. So I probably made this like right before. And I even made this because I have a book on how to, um, how to make like origami and stuff and, or rather fashion origami. So I know I made that one for this. And I already had this tape, which was perfect. The washi tape. Wow. That's really flimsy. And then we've got this. I made this one last year on Valentine's. So, um, I'm going to probably start using these girls again. Um, crap. I can't even remember the name. It's, like I said, it's been so long, but I had downloaded these images. I purchased them and downloaded them from the American crops. Is it American Crafts? Yeah, I think it is. Um, website when they had a sale. So I have a ton of these girls. I like the fact that they're faceless, you know. And then that is it as far as the ones that I've made. I made these. They're backed as well because they're pretty hard. So I was probably going to um, start on these and then I just stopped, you know. So 
I've got all of these. Looks like there's repeats, probably because I had plenty of paper. Um, and they, this was probably like six by six paper. So yeah, I want to get back into it. It's kind of fun, you know, and it'll help me start using my stash that I haven't touched because it's just not in the um, aesthetic that I'm going for these days. But um, yeah, I, I definitely need to use it. I don't want to get rid of that stuff because I work so hard at trying to get it, you know, going, like I said, to Tuesday morning every week to try to get that stuff after work. And um, yeah, it's just sitting in a pile, you know, gathering dust like these were. So yeah, so these, um, this is my collection of um, memory decks cards that I've made. So let me know if you've ever made any memory decks cards and, um, you know, do a video, show me what you've made. All right. Have a great week. Bye.